Dodo ħan ibqaw fuq it-temma tal-immigrazzjoni. Infatti, saru nkunu edin insegu serviz ta' sera li zammit fejn intervistat il-darin zammit lupi u propju fuqa fuq kif bħala fotografu jista' jkun ġurnalist permet ta' ritratti l-liħa u ritratti jikonċernaw l-immigranti għaraw dan il-serviz. I have this very vague memory of receiving my first camera, toy camera, made of plastic. I was probably six, seven years old, and it was Christmas Day, and you know all the kids were given this, these toy cameras, which which did work. I mean, I do recall some pictures being developed from them, pictures of um, of each other as we're opening our Christmas presents. Um, but it's very, very hazy. I mean, it's. Uh, you know, very, very long time ago, feels like a lifetime ago. I always wanted to do art in some form or other. Um, when I was uh, 12 or 13, my father s subscribed to National Geographic. And like so many other people like myself, you know, I was inspired. I was inspired by the photos in them and I just felt you know, what a marvellous life it must be to be able to travel around the world and tell these amazing stories, you know, through pictures. Um, you know, my interest grew in different cultures and anthropology and so on. And that sort of led me towards, you know, wanting to be a photojournalist. I hope I have not taken my be best picture. I hope that that's the one I will do, you know, tomorrow or the day after or next year. Or whatever, you know. Whenever people ask me, but well, what's your best picture? I haven't taken it yet. You've got to do what I say. Any women and children. Every aspiring photojournalist, including myself when I was younger, wants to work on big stories and they feel that they have to travel overseas to find these big international stories to photograph. In this case, you know, the big international story came to us. I didn't need to go anywhere because when these uh, people started arriving on our, on our shores, there was a lot of international media interest in it. And, um, you know, I found myself in the middle of a major sort of news story, which has now been ongoing for like, you know, 10, 15 years. Uh, so, you know, this kind of, in time, became a sort of almost a lifelong project. I remember in 2008, which is when we had the record number of boat arrivals, um, I used to be called for every single boat coming in, day and night. My phone used to ring in the middle of the night and I would get out of bed and get out there and shoot. It was a summer of sleepless nights. Um, and, you know, people used to ask me, but isn't it going to get a bit repetitive? And I would think, no. It will only be repetitive if I get lazy in the way I cover the assignment. So it became a personal challenge to myself to, to always come back with uh, different pictures. And I also reasoned, if you don't go and cover something, you don't know what you're missing. So I might end up missing what could have been the greatest picture of my life. Um, but it, it wasn't just about taking great pictures and stopping there. I, I wanted the pictures to do more than that. I wanted my pictures to have a message and um, and I believe that they do because um, I believe that uh, you know my type of photojournalism on these stories is a form of advocacy you know I mean there is a cause which I very firmly believe in and I want to use my photos to promote that cause which is um, you know I am fervently anti-racist and um, it bothers me immensely when I see that, you know, there are people over here who, who feel that um, these people do not deserve protection. And yet, you know, I, I look at all these pictures, you know, which I'm hanging in this gallery and publishing in my book, and every single person in these photos has been through a trauma which is infinitely worse than anything that the very, very vast majority of the Maltese and the Western civilization's population have been through. So, you know, these people do deserve protection. They need our protection. We are, we are in a position to help them, so let's do that. And I believe that my photos can help 
to do that. Um, you know, these are not photos of migrants or refugees. These are photos of people. Dan il-proġett u avjaċ ta' stejjer min għajnejn il-fotografu ġurnalistiku Darren Zammit Lupi. L-artist ħadem fuq dan il-proġett li ġib li semta Islanders għal dawn laħħar għaxar snin. L-esibizzjoni n-nifisa ija storja narrattiva u dokumentattiva ta' refugiati u immigranti li tell umin pajizom u qasmu l-baħar Mediterran sa biex ikollom bidu ġdid. Per mezz ta' dawn il-fotografiji, Derrin jixti ifakkar li l-ludjenza li kienu bost toħrajn li jamlu dan il-vijaċ sa biex jifitxu ken izda għat ma waslu fil-destinazzjoni ta' xom. Dan il-proġeġ ġimejjun mil-UNHCR u l-Malta Arts Fund. Għal aktar informazzjoni zuri s-sit elettroniku islanders.com.